Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask you Bliss! Mind readers? That's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors? No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biff is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the Commissioner. The Commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat. The Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon! Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too! We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left! You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor's center? What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight! My feet are killing me. That may be, but we can't press charges unless we catch him in the act. I miss the old days, when our cases were less thinking and more shooting stuff. Luckily, my short-term memory makes me impervious to nostalgia. Random but innocuous comment. Irreverent reply that hints at mental instability. You crack me up, little butt. Never mind. 
somebody left a footprint here in the dust. My foot's bigger! What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Uh, indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it! You might break it! Oops, it's not held down very securely. Here, Max, hold this. Oh. I meant in your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody. We understand. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Small Worlds, it's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam! I love them all! Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story! Great story! Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. How does that unicorn work anyway? By magic, sir. Right. Either that, or it's just a glorified mood ring that reacts to body heat. A mood horn? You're not a believer, sir. I could never explain it to you. You're studying this prismatology, too? Not studying. I've mastered it. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I'm one with the door. We exist in the indigo wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. 
I'm sorry. I'm gushing. President Max requires an audience with you, Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders? Well, as your president, here's your new order. Move it! I'm now a citizen of Bliss, sir. I can't let you in. What about loyalty to your president? Let us in. Hugh Bliss showed me the folly of independent nations. Plus, the benefits are better. Full medical and dental. So long, Super Bowl. Lunar Lander. Door is locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly, but they can't prove anything. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma. Shanks monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshanks exiled for treason, remember? It's the president's sophisticated budget allocation system. Jimmy, up to no good as usual. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean we, White Rabbit? Hey, boss. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. Mind telling us how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my de- You will after I get through- But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not gonna tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only- <laughs> So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. We want to buy something. 
Did you finish all your chores? Yeah. Okay, you can get one thing. One. What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion?! You crazy, fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of and paying it! So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house! Never mind. See you later. Go clean your... I know one way to get horny hot. Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatology. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice.